right, thank you very much. Steady from Cameroon. Uh, that was after the match against Guinea Bissau. What's your thoughts about uh, some of the what the fans have been saying from Cameroon? Yes, uh, the, that is the spirit of sportsmanship. You know, when you see a country flourishing, especially the one we are seeing in Cameroon, the, especially the one we are seeing in Cameroon, you'll be very happy. You know, there is no man on earth that will see a particular thing that is good and then kick against it. It's impossible. So uh, I think the fans are doing great. And it's what I'm actually out there in Garoa. All right, uh, let's hear from you and uh, for our Potakot fans uh, who want to share their thoughts on Super Evo. 0 3 5 3 4 That's the number on your TV. So 0 0 7 0 3 5 3 4 4 6 4 2. You can also send us an SMS on that same number 0 7 0 3 Five three four four six four two. Now let's talk about Ghana because they sacked their coach this morning. Uh, let's look at the letter coming out from the uh, Ministry of Youth and Sports in Ghana um, confirming the sacking of the Ghanaian national team coach after being eliminated from the group stage of the African Cup of Nations. Yes, and the Ministry of Youth and Sports confirmed the sack of um, Ralovic, the Ghanaian coach, the Serbian coach. This is the second time the Ghanaian, the Serbian is coming to manage Ghana. The first time was in the World Cup in 2006, and this one uh, is coming. A very, very successful second time for the Serbian coach. There is one thing about football, you know, there is always a right coach for every team. Now, let me tell you something. If uh, the Ghana team uh, picks up a man from the streets mm -hmm. to manage them, maybe that man will be able to well. So they should not... It has to do with uh, that body chemistry between the coach and the players. Mm -hmm. And then the technicality comes into play too. Mm -hmm. if, if the coach is not technically fit to manage uh, the Ghanaian players and then invite the right players to the camp, mm -hmm. then what's the thing? Was there a problem with the right players? Let's look at the pictures of the, the, picture of the Ghanaian coach now, sir. Um, let's look at that picture. But what was his fault? Because he had barely one month. Yeah, you said that the Gabon also was given the same thing, but he's a Serbian, he's not a, he's not a Ghanaian. And Gabon is a Nigerian, so it's, it's easier for Gabon to you know, adapt into the sector of work with the natural sector. But this guy was brought in very late to the nation's cup. Yes, uh, I don't think uh, it's, it's the fault of the coach. It can happen to any coach, even uh, the best coach in the world, the likes of uh, Pep Guardiola, Jose Mourinho. You know, it happens everywhere. It's just that uh, the Ghanaian team, the, 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 the Italians are not patient enough. If they give this man a chance, I tell you, it's not good. How patient should Ghanaians be or would have been? I mean, you know, yes, uh, yes, you'll be hungry because you're out of the nation's cup. Mm -hmm. Should be all that that has won the outcome for four times. times. Yes. So nobody will be happy, but at least uh, if you give a coach a good time, then you will see good results. All right. Uh, let's look at the press conference um, or Boston Obama's press conference and uh, uh, Trusekong's press conference after Nigeria's 2-0 victory over Guinea-Bissau.